Did you know that some cities in the United States are so dangerous that living or even visiting them feels like stepping into a high-stakes thriller? While America is home to some of the world's most iconic landmarks and vibrant cultures, certain cities have earned a reputation for danger. From violent crimes to deep-seated socioeconomic challenges, these urban centers face struggles that have made them infamous. Today, we'll dive into the top 10 most dangerous cities in America, uncovering the unique stories behind their alarming crime statistics. And stick around until the end, we have a surprising bonus city to reveal that might just shock you. Chicago, Illinois known for its deep de homicides, making it one of the deadliest cities in the nation. The roots of Chicago's issues run deep, tied to decades of poverty, segregation, and limited economic opportunities in marginalized communities. Gang conflicts fuel much of the violence with innocent residents often caught in the crossfire. Beyond shootings, robberies, and carjackings remain rampant, keeping residents on edge and visitors cautious. While downtown Chicago and tourist hubs like The Loop are relatively safe, venturing into high-risk areas can quickly turn perilous. The city continues to battle these challenges with community programs and increased police presence, but progress remains slow. For many living in these areas, the daily reality is one of vigilance and survival. Detroit, Michigan Detroit, once the proud heart of America's automotive industry, is now synonymous with urban decline. The city's east side, in particular, has become a hot spot for violent crimes, with a murder rate of 41 per 100,000 residents in 2023. According to Detroit Free Press, the city struggles to shake off its dangerous image. Economic hardships play a significant role in Detroit's crime crisis. The city's bankruptcy in 2013 left lasting scars, and poverty remains widespread, especially in the most vulnerable neighborhoods. Gang activity, drug trafficking, and unemployment create a volatile mix that fuels violence. Efforts to revitalize Detroit have brought pockets of hope, such as investments in infrastructure and art initiatives. However, these changes often fail to reach the neighborhoods most in need. For now, Detroit's challenges are a reminder of how economic collapse and neglect can devastate a city. Kansas City might be famous for its barbecue and jazz heritage, but it also grapples with one of the highest murder rates in the Midwest. In 2023, Spectrum Local News reported that the city recorded over 180 homicides, with much of the violence concentrated in its eastern neighborhoods. Gang disputes and drug-related shootings are common, often spilling over into residential areas. Drive-by shootings have become a grim norm, putting both residents and bystanders at risk. For many, the constant sound of gunfire is a chilling reminder of their precarious environment. While the city's leadership has implemented programs aimed at reducing crime, the lack of resources and personnel continues to hinder progress. Residents, particularly in high-crime areas, face daily struggles, hoping for a brighter future amidst the turmoil. Baltimore, Maryland Baltimore, often referred to as Charm City, has seen its charm overshadowed by its violent crime rates. With over 300 homicides annually, CBS News noted that Baltimore ranks among the most dangerous in the nation. Neighborhoods like Sandtown, Winchester, and Harlem Park are particularly affected by gang violence and drug trafficking. The roots of Baltimore's struggles lie in systemic poverty, a booming drug trade, and strained relations between the community and law enforcement. Despite ongoing efforts to introduce police reforms, rebuilding trust has been an uphill battle. Downtown Baltimore and tourist-friendly areas like the Inner Harbor remain safer zones, attracting visitors with their vibrant art scene and historic attractions. However, venturing outside these areas requires caution as the city's deeper issues persist. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland, a city with a rich industrial history, now finds itself grappling with alarming crime rates. Data from Area Vibes shows that violent crime here is 179% above the national average, with neighborhoods like East Cleveland bearing the brunt of the violence. Shootings, gang conflicts, and drug-related crimes dominate the crime landscape. For many residents, fear has become a constant companion. Efforts to combat these issues through community policing and revitalization projects have had limited success, leaving much of the city's population feeling trapped. Despite these challenges, Cleveland boasts cultural gems like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and a resilient community working toward change. However, the road to safety and stability remains long and uncertain. If you're finding this list surprising or informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue bringing you eye-opening content. 
Which city has shocked you the most so far? Let us know in the comments. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, the birthplace of rock and roll, struggles to balance its rich cultural heritage with rising crime rates. Violent crime is a daily reality in neighborhoods like South Memphis and Fraser, where gang activity and drug trafficking dominate. Safe and Sound Security stated that the violent crime rate in Memphis is 24.37 per 1,000 people. This statistic positions Memphis as a city with one of the higher rates of violent crime among nearby cities, including assault, robbery, and murder, relative to its population size. Aggravated assaults and shootings have become so frequent that residents have grown desensitized to the violence. Poverty and racial inequality exacerbate these issues, trapping many in cycles of despair. Memphis's police force faces criticism for being under-resourced and for incidents of misconduct, further straining community relations. While landmarks like Graceland attract tourists, the city's safety concerns overshadow its cultural legacy. Addressing Memphis's challenges requires tackling systemic issues with a comprehensive approach that includes education and economic reform. St. Louis, Missouri According to CBS News, St. Louis consistently ranks as one of America's deadliest cities, with a murder rate of 64 per 100,000 residents. Violence is particularly concentrated in North St. Louis, where poverty and gang disputes create a dangerous environment. The city's decline can be traced back to the loss of manufacturing jobs, which once supported its economy. Without these opportunities, many residents have turned to illegal activities to make ends meet. Efforts to combat crime through community programs and policing have met with limited success, leaving much work to be done. Despite its challenges, St. Louis remains a city of resilience, with a community working tirelessly to overcome its struggles. Its journey towards safety will require addressing root causes like economic instability and systemic inequality. Oakland, California Oakland, a city known for its progressive ideals and cultural diversity, faces an uphill battle against crime. With a violent crime rate 50% above the national average, areas like East Oakland have become synonymous with danger. According to the Public Policy of California, in 2023, California's violent crime rate was 503 crimes per 100,000 residents. Gang violence, poverty, and underfunded public services contribute to the city's challenges. Carjackings, armed robberies, and shootings are regular occurrences, making daily life precarious for residents. Despite these issues, Oakland's downtown and waterfront areas remain relatively safe, drawing tourists and tech workers alike. To truly address its crime problem, Oakland must invest in community programs and economic opportunities. For now, its residents navigate a city fraught with tension and unpredictability. Little Rock, Arkansas Little Rock, despite its smaller size, has one of the highest crime rates in the United States. As noted by Kelvin Lemley Law Partners, Little Rock's violent crime is 18.25 per 1,000 residents, which is over four times the national average. Violent crimes, including murders and aggravated assaults, are concentrated in neighborhoods like Southwest Little Rock. The city's struggles are tied to poverty, gang activity, and a lack of economic investment. Residents often feel unsafe even in their own homes, with shootings and robberies being all too common. While efforts to revitalize Little Rock are underway, progress has been slow, leaving many frustrated. Despite these challenges, Little Rock's leadership remains committed to finding solutions. With continued focus on safety and community engagement, there is hope for a better future. New Orleans, Louisiana Known for its vibrant culture and lively Mardi Gras celebrations, New Orleans also battles serious safety concerns. High rates of robbery and violent assaults plague certain neighborhoods, creating stark contrasts between tourist hotspots and more dangerous areas. Fox News reported that the city had a homicide rate of 70 per 100,000 residents in 2022, with 280 homicides recorded. Socioeconomic inequality and systemic challenges fuel much of the city's crime. While areas like the French Quarter remain relatively safe, venturing beyond these zones requires caution. New Orleans' struggles highlight the complexities of addressing urban crime in a city rich in history but fraught with modern challenges. Bonus City, Washington, D.C. Surprising to some, the nation's capital grapples with its own crime issues. Rising violent crime rates, including robberies and assaults, make parts of Washington, D.C. increasingly unsafe. The city's deep socioeconomic divides and strained community police relations add to the complexity of the problem. While iconic landmarks like the National Mall remain safe for visitors, other neighborhoods face ongoing struggles. 
Addressing these issues requires tackling inequality and fostering trust between residents and law enforcement. And there you have it, the 10 most dangerous cities in the United States, each with its unique challenges and struggles. From economic instability to systemic violence, these cities reveal the harsh realities faced by many communities. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and share your thoughts in the comments. Which city surprised you the most, and what steps do you think could lead to meaningful change? As always, stay informed and cautious, and don't miss our next video, 10 Canadian Cities That Are Ruined By Immigrants. We'll explore the surprising ways immigration is reshaping urban centers in Canada, for better or worse. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.